So I made a mistake. I made a huge rookie mistake. What happened was we were camping at a park that didn't have full hookups. We just had water and electric. So on the way out of that park, we had to go to the dump station. We were actually going to dry camp for a night. So after we got done, dumping our tanks. I don't know why I didn't think about it. I connected my hose directly to the water spigot that was right outside the dump station. I connected the water hose to there. I put it inside to fill up my fresh water tank. I don't know how many gallons I filled it up with, but we were there for at least five minutes filling up the tank. And after I was done filling up the tank, I was getting ready to drive off. I looked across the parking lot about 20 to 30 feet away and I see a sign that says potable water with another water spigot there. So I immediately started freaking out because I just realized that I filled my tanks with the bad water, the dirty water that was just right there next to the dump station. Luckily, I realized it right away and fortunately there was no one else behind us waiting to dump their tanks as well. So here's what I did to go ahead and dump all that dirty water out of my tanks and fill it with the fresh potable water. Let me go ahead and show you how I did that just in case uh, you run across the same situation in your RV. So obviously this is where you're gonna put the water hose in to fill up your tanks. Every RV is different, but obviously this is where you're gonna go ahead and connect your hose to fill up your tanks. So as soon as I realized I put the wrong water in there, here's what I did. I went to this end of my sewer hose, which was already connected to the dump station. I went ahead and grabbed the other side of the hose here, the other end of the hose. So one end was still connected to the dump station. I went ahead and grabbed the other end of the sewer hose there and I'll show you where I connected this to drain the tanks. So what I did next is I went ahead and located my fresh water tank. Usually it's going to be right under the fill door there wherever you fill it up. So I have a compartment right under there. So what I did is I opened this compartment up. Right back there you can see my fresh water tank. I do have some water in there you can see it's like halfway. Uh, right there there is an actual valve, a little handle there that you can go ahead and pull. I'll show you where that leads to right here. So what I did is I went underneath the RV right under here. You're going to go ahead and see a little drain right there. So what I did is I went ahead and grabbed the other side of that sewer hose like I showed you. One end was still connected to the dump station. I went ahead and held the hose right under here. Obviously you don't want the hose to touch that because that is your fresh water. So I just held it like a foot underneath so it still drains into the hose and then what I did next is I went ahead and pulled that handle on the inside that I showed you I pulled the handle and it went ahead and drained all the water from there into the hose and down back into the dump station and after I got all that water drained from that tank I went ahead and opened this thing back up I connected the hose back into the correct potable water spigot went ahead and filled this thing up again. What you can also do, luckily I caught mine on time. It wasn't sitting in the tank for too long. But what you can also do is go ahead and fill the fresh water tank with the correct water. You can add some sanit sanitizing solution to it. You can put some bleach in there as well. Go ahead and fill up the water tank. Then you can go ahead and use the same process to go ahead and drain the water out. After you do that, it should be sanitized. What you can also do is drain the water from the hot water heater as well. There's also just a handle that you can go ahead and drain the water out. And then after you do that, after you add the sanitizing solution, go ahead and fill it back up with the potable water and you should be good to go. So I know this was a quick video, but I just wanted to do this because I made the mistake for the first time. I wasn't sure what to do. Uh, if you're not at a dump station, you can do the same exact thing once you get to your campground. If you happen to realize it later on, you didn't realize it when you were filling it up with the wrong water. Once you get to your campsite, same exact thing. Go ahead and connect the sewer hose, obviously one end to the dump, the other end underneath the uh, water drain down there and go ahead and drain your water out. So let me know if you've done the same thing yourself. Hopefully you caught it on time. Let me know if this video helped. Go ahead and drop a like on this video if it did help you out. Consider subscribing. We do drop a lot of tutorials and park reviews on this channel. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.